Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to write off bad debt. Now, bad debt is considered those payments from customers that you have not received due to not being satisfied with the service they received or they just don't have the funds or whatever the issue is, you haven't received the money. And it's been quite some time. So the best way to see what kind of bad debt you are looking at is by going into your reports, go into customers and receivables, go into AR summary. Now we're going to say for the sake of this tutorial that we want to write off anything that's greater than 90 days worth of bad debt. Again this threshold of days is based on your company and what your policy is for your bad debt but again for this tutorial we're going to say anything greater than 90 days. Now let me go ahead and explain to you on the AR Adrian summary what these categories mean. Current is these are the amounts that have currently been billed that are currently within their billing terms so they're due now. 1 to 30 is any accounts or customers whose payments are 1 to 30 days past due this means 31 to 60 days past due, 61 to 90 days past due, and then again, this is anything greater than 90 days. So it could be 90 days to 20 years. So for the sake of this, we're going to go ahead and look to see what accounts fall greater than 90 days. And we'll notice that there's only one account, which is Ann Loomis. Now for my office, I actually make sure that when we're writing stuff off that we have backup documentation. So I would print this report as well as the invoice that's associated with it just so we have evidence of our amount that we needed to write off. So if you wanted to get in to get in get in deeper into what's creating this $4,190, you would want to double click on the amount and that'll take you into a quick zoom of the aging. And this gives you all the, the summary details of the invoice, like the amount, the date that it was invoiced, who it was to, her terms, due date, all of that. And you'll see that the due date was actually 1-9-2014, which according to the date of our QuickBooks file here, today's date is December 15, 2015, so it's almost a whole year old. It's aging 705 days. So what we're going to want to do is, if you want to click in to get to the actual invoice, double click here and you'll get to the invoice itself. And basically it's showing you that all of the balance has never been paid. And I'm sure in your business you know the reasons why. And if you wanted to notate that in the memo line you could, it's completely up to you. Again, for my sake of my office, I would have them print this out with the AR agent report before we wrote it off. Okay, so then you're going to want to go ahead and go back in to the customer center. And you can do that by the home page here, quick toolbar here, or customer center by the drop down box here. For this tutorial, I'm going to go in through the home page. You're going to want to find her name. And again, if you have a lot of customers, you can go in here into the, the search bar and you can just put in her last name or whatever name you guys associate your customers with whether it's property name number whatever it is hit search and she should come up okay and you're going to want to make sure that you're looking at all the transactions to make sure that oh, there it is you'll see here aging 705 days four thousand one hundred ninety dollars and twenty cents And before you actually write this off, this balance, you're going to want to make sure that you do your due diligence. So like, like notice here, you see that there was an invoice and a payment and she, she paid on this invoice. So you want to make sure that maybe this invoice wasn't created incorrectly or dated improperly before you write the amount off. You want to make sure that you go about and make sure it's a valid invoice, it wasn't created erroneously the date wasn't input it incorrectly, the date of the invoice, which would cause it to age because QuickBooks pulls the aging information based on the date of the invoice. So, and you're also going to want to make sure that it, it was one of those things that shouldn't have been an estimate. It was supposed to be an estimate, but was created as an invoice. These type of things you want to make sure before you write this off. 
Okay, but we're going to say for the sake of this tutorial that this is a valid bad debt. So what you're going to want to do is right click on her name, go into receive payments. Okay, in here you're not going to want to put anything, anything at all, just the day's date. Okay, go into discounts and credits down towards the bottom, select that. Now once you're here, you'll see there'll be there's two tabs. You're going to want to go into the discounts tabs. This is if there's any credits out there, you can select those credits. But we're not issuing a credit. We're issuing a, it's kind of like a discount, but it's a bad debt discount. And we're going to go up here and we're going to see that the original amount of the invoice was $4,190.20 and the amount due is the full amount. So then in here you're going to want to write the amount that you're writing off. Now I'm going to put the full amount for the sake of this argument, but let's just say that the customer agreed to pay you half. So you're going to only want to write off the other half or whatever portion is not going to be collectible. You're going to want to select the discount account, which is bad debt. If you don't have a bad debt account, it should be created and it should be an expense account. So you're going to want to go ahead and create a bad debt expense account and it's going to fall on your profit and loss. Now, if you do use classes for your invoicing, your estimates, whatever it is, when you are writing off this bad debt for non-payment, you're going to want to make sure that you use the same class as you did on the invoice just to ensure that it shows on that specific report correctly when you do pull your class reports. If you don't use classes, leave it blank. Then once you've completed that information, hit done. And you'll see here that invoice 125 for $4,190.20. Has a discount amount of four thousand one hundred and ninety dollars and twenty cents on twelve fifteen. The amount due is zero. Save and close. And now you'll notice and now you'll notice that right here in Ann Loomis's account her balance is now zero. You'll see the discount amount here, $4,190.20. If you open it up, it's just a summary of what we just went over. When you pull your AR aging report, you will see that she did no longer shows up as owing any money. And then you will also notice on your profit and loss that the bad debt expense account should show her amount there. And once you've verified all of that information, this customer's balance has now been written off and you're done. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you. And if you need any further assistance, please visit our channel here on YouTube for more tutorials. And if you see a tutorial there that you need that's not uploaded, Please make sure that you contact me by email, by website, by um, comments on the actual video so I can make sure that I post a video, you know, because we, we basically post videos based on the demand of our subscribers. And you can also visit us on Facebook. Look us up at It's All About Bookkeeping. And you can visit us on the web at www. It's about time bookkeeping.com. And thank you again for visiting.